Having heard that the latest FreeBSD beta is out of 12.2, the first beta, I decided to go along to the FreeBSD website, download an ISO, and test it. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Right, there we are. I'm just going to download the ISO. I'm going to go for the 4.4 uh, gigabyte DVD image. And uh, for those who say that the FreeBSD uh, servers are slow, look at that. It's, it's pushing up almost to my max speed. Uh, a little bit more, that's not too bad. Right, I'm going to install this, give it a test. It's not going to be an exhaustive test, it's only going to be a, um, well, I'm going to a relatively simple test. Let's go and install some software, get a desktop up and going, and see how things are. Right, we've done this a thousand times, so we're just going to install. I'm using VirtualBox because uh, at the moment my test machine is busy. But it's fine. I'm just going to find the right key map. One thing I do love about FreeBSD is it, it really never changes in its install. Might one or two things added over time, but in general, it, you know, once you're familiar with the install process, it is really easy. Uh, yeah, I'll do these ones. I'm going to select test suite, but I don't think I'm going to run it. I just want to see where it was. UFS, entire disk, GPT, and boom, we're off. I'll fast forward through this section, and, you know, what were you waiting? Right, password. I so say you can fast forward this yourself if you don't want to watch it. The usual things, acquire and release. You know, I'm one thing I've found that is um, that FreeBSD 12.1 has been a very, an extremely solid um, release for me. 12.1, what is it, a couple of years back now? And it's, it's fantastic, it's 12.1. I love 12.1. I felt the same way about 11.2. Um, I always thought FreeBSD 11.2 was extremely solid, and then 12.1 is really solid too. Um, FreeBSD in general is solid, but 12.1, I thought it was just it's just right. I've not encountered any bugs or anything over the time. Uh, we'll see how 12.2 is coming along. I know it's only a first beta, and you really can't judge it by that, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Right, I'm just going to remove the disk image in a minute. Uh, and yeah, then do a reboot. And then we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm, re I'm reviewing this now, but the thing is, I mean, uh, the data started doing this and the data released it. You've got a what? four days before the next beta comes out, beta two. I don't know if there's going to be any dramatic changes, so I think I'll just, uh, rather than scrapping this video and then doing another one, I'll just keep it at this video because I don't think things are going to change dramatically. Of course they could, of course. Right, we're just going to log in. Right, there's a memory usage. Look at that lot. 14 megabytes active. Gotta love the base FreeBSD system. Can't get any simpler than that. I 
what we're going to install first is Xarc. So I'm just going to try this. Well, that's really, that's quite quick, speeding through this. Yeah, I'll fast forward this bit. And Firefox next. I did all this when I did the uh, installing the GUI from ports. Well, this is a lot quicker. And then finally, KDE. Now, why did I go for KDE rather than Lightweight? Well, I kind of, I'm, I'm getting a, a liking for KDE Plasma. Um, a lot of people criticize the fact that it's too many configurable elements, but I actually like it. And we'll see how this one goes. I would implement them, uh, them little receive space and send space uh, sys control tweaks at the bottom, but I'm not going to bother with this because it's, uh, it's just a quick look. Now I'm just going to add um, the D-Bus. If you wonder why I put them hashes there, is I like to separate the uh, the system created uh, elements and the bits that I put in. Right, that'll do, debus enable, and then start the service. Because without that, yeah, Firefox is going uh, to panic. Alright. And X in RC, so we can execute KDE. That will do. And then uh, let's start it up. Well, it's resized it, which is kind of nice. Ooh, and that wasn't speed up. That was actually quite quick. Very nice. Of course, I'll have all the base um, KDE applications, of course. Uh, oh, Conqueror can't find the thingy. That's interesting. What if we click on home? All right, okay. Oh, that's interesting. There's like when you initially start it up, you get that error, but it does work. System settings. And you get the usuals. It's all there. It's all very nice. One thing I like about Plasma is straight up the, the vanilla theme and the vanilla wallpaper etc everything's just there right from the start that's 5.19.2 with kde framework 5.71.0 very nice and qt 5.14.2 so we're all singing nicely and there's firefox Check what version it is. I know this is not. Uh, we can find it. This is not that important, but I just like to know what versions are included. Uh, 81, that's not too bad. More or less the latest. I think there's like one revision down, I think. Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba yeah, yeah. I think, uh, where's the system monitor? There we go, syscard. Very nice, nothing unexpected. Yeah, this, the uh, memory is high. But I put that down to being the fact it's a better end. There's probably a lot of um, debugging going on. But we'll leave it at that, that's fine. If it was that high out of the bat when uh, it gets released, then that would be a cause for concern. But this is the first beta, so we can't complain. Everything feels really snappy. And 
Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little bit high, but like I said. And for those desktop aficionados who like the wallpaper, you're going to get the stock uh, wallpapers. You know, just these standard KDE ones. And there we go. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll actually, um, yeah. We need an office suite. And I'm just going to put LibreOffice. I think the latest version of LibreOffice is 7. I don't think that we've got 7 here. And we're just going to start that up. Let's see if that's in the menus. Yeah, there it is. Things do feel really actually quite snappy. Uh, we'll go down to version. Yeah, 6.4.6.2. It really should sort out the version numbers, but yeah, that's all right. That's fine. I mean, it's a, it's a word processor and Office Suite. It doesn't have to be the latest, latest. I know that if you switch to um, the latest repos in the PKG tree, uh, then you can get it there rather than quarterly. Hello. That's fine. And oh, Caden Live, yes, of course. Let go test this. Very important to me is Caden Live. I like Caden Live. Yeah, not too bad. Let's say it's not the latest, latest, but that's fine. FF Player, yeah. I've got a little fix for that, which I'll be releasing the video about soon. Hmm. I know I'm speeding through these, but it's only a quick look. Oh, well, that's big fun. And there you go, look, beta 1, 12.2 beta 1. Very nice. Only a cursory look, I know, and I haven't really delved into anything in that lot, but Oh my goodness me, it is solid. Yeah, there won't be no updates, of course. But yeah, it's very solid. And uh, if this is a first beta and um, everything seems quick and snappy, the servers are fast and uh, yeah, you know, the 12, the, the 12 uh, release branch is, is fantastic. Very impressed. 13 promises some great things. And uh, but the 12 branch, oh man, I'm gonna really miss it when it goes. We're not there yet, we've probably got another release, you know, another couple of releases up to about 12.4 probably. But the 12 branch is, is wonderful, I really do like it. I mean, FreeBSD now is, is it, it's really up there now. There's always uh, improvements to be made on any operating system, of course, but I don't know, FreeBSD at the moment seems really, really solid and stable and dependable. Right, that was only a quick look, and um, by the time I got the video out, it only got a few more days until the next bit comes out, but I thought, as a, I, thought I might put this one out. Well done, everybody in the FreeBSD uh, development team, and everyone in the FreeBSD Foundation. Um, brilliant. Roll on the next betas, and the release candidates, and sometime in October, I've forgotten the exact date, but in October, we'll get the uh, proper release. Looking forward to it indeed. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Oh.